Guard our businesses and protect them, and then everyone's called a white supremacist? I'm sorry, but we're not white supremacists. Well, I guess I'm not. Yes, I am, because the new the term nowadays, white supremacist, means you're a patriot. So I have a sign that I do carry sometimes, and I say proud white supremacist, because a white supremacist is a patriot. And I don't appreciate defining people by their race, by their sex, by their beliefs, by their values, etc. We are all Americans, and I think coming up with a resolution like that, like that divides our city even further. And I don't appreciate the suggestion. And I had no intent to speak, but now I'm mad. So anyway, thank you very much. I appreciate you allowing me to speak. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> okay, so for context, uh, which uh, I'm gonna give you a spoiler, will not make what she said make much sense. She was speaking in response to a resolution stating that uh, the town of Hayden values diversity and condemns racism and quote, white supremacy and any groups that promote it. To which she identified, as she apparently has for some time, Brett, as a proud white supremacist. So I feel like a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this because I wrote it uh, for something for the watch list earlier today, but it's actually not supremist, I S T, it's E S T, because she thinks whites <laughs> aren't just supreme, they're the most supreme, they're the <laughs> supremist. Mm -hmm. The most of Who the supreme. Be supreme. Yeah. She wants to get a supreme inspired hoodie that just says white, just supreme. I'm at most a white supremer. Right. Not S. I'm, I'm white supreme. I'm me this not the best. Um, I thought whites were cool until they invaded freaking Ukraine. Yeah. They're so invading. The whites latest. are so invading. They're right? the invadest. Honestly, by the way, how have you gone this far after this video comes out and not had some sort of Simon Simonson thing? Because she's getting signs made up with intentional, maybe misspellings of racial pride. I feel like Simon, that's a market Simon Simonson of Simonson signs can tap into, I think. See, I want them all to have signs. I want to know. Like, it's kind of troubling. Actually, maybe I'm not. I want the sign ones because the sign people holding a sign look stupid when they're like, "This I went and got this made." Like I did a project. This is me and a kindergartner did very similar things today with glitter and paint and <laughs> and like big markers. Um, but the problem is, like, I, I I there was a time when I said I really want them to just be outwardly racist. I don't think I want that anymore. It's really annoying. And the worst part about the internet is they're all like, "Oh wait, it is cool to be this racist all the time." Mm -hmm. Awesome. I just also want some tool that tells me what percent of people actually are this terrible. Do do, do you want to know for sure? Yeah. I see. I I have I have hypothesized about a bracelet that at all times tells you how close the closest great white shark is. Mm -hmm. But then I wonder, do I really want to know? I'm not sure, think twice. Um, I understand that she said all that she said, uh, trying to imply that like like the, all the right always says, let's, let's just move beyond it. If we just ignore it, if we just pretend that it doesn't exist, if we stop getting worked up about racism, we'll all be fine. She said, I don't want people being identified or presumably discriminated against based on their rights. The issue is that neutrality in the face of discrimination is bad, your position is bad. Because just saying let's not identify racism allows the continuation of the racism, the harm continues. You're trying to ask all of us to step out of a conflict that will continue. And that's bad, there is a cost to that. So I understand that you you, you think you're making a fun rhetorical point um, in advance of some sort of racial neutrality or something, but that is just disconnected from the real world in a lot of fundamental ways. Emphasis on the fundamental, yeah. <laughs> on the fundamentalism. hundred percent. I, I I really don't know how to process this lady. The worst part is she looks like my aunt who is a Jew for Jesus, mm -hmm. and I'm just like, eh, uh, that's weird. That's not too far from the truth. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I mean, like this idea, yeah, the, this idea that uh, patriotism equals white supremacy is really troubling. Because it is actually the op, you know, it in practice, as we'll find in other stories we do today, is uh, is the opposite of the intention, the intent of yeah. a, a lot of our founding principles. Even though it did have slavery, like 
I agree. Okay, we only have minutes left, so let's jump. Really? Oh. Okay, we have a little more time. Yeah. Uh, also, they, they say you know they're just trying to denigrate us by calling us patriots, white supremacists, uh, implying that there's not a connection. But like the people organizing it, there is a connection. Like you're almost, you're so close, so close. There.